off to film a quick showreel for Performance House and to photograph it as well. Uh, they've got performance in Porthcawl Grand Pavilion Theatre. I don't know what this show is, but what I'm going to do, or try and do, is to film the behind the scene of them getting ready and uh, you know, film a bit of the theatre. It's just to promote uh, Performance House. I'm known Nicky, and uh, who runs Performance House, and his family, and they are so lovely, uh, so friendly. Nicky actually always reminds me of Superman. He's spitting image of Superman, and. He's got the same ethics as Superman. He's he's like his moral compass. I I admire his moral compass so much. He's such a nice guy. He's a true gentleman, and the kids love him. I don't know whether it's because the children actually are reminded of Superman when they see him, but he's amazing. He's such a nice guy. And his whole family is so lovely. It's upbringing at the end of the day, you know. You, you'll find when the parents are lovely, the children are brought up the same way. So it's not a coincidence. I just hope and pray it doesn't rain. Well, it's raining, but I just hope it doesn't rain heavily when I get to both call. Because... Uh, unloading the car when it's raining is a nightmare because my clothes get soaked and then I have to stay in the soaking wet clothes all day So photographing today's uh, performance, it's gonna. So, um, so as I said earlier, I'm off to photograph the performance today in Fourth Court, and it's gonna be probably several thousand photos, because uh, for a two-hour show, you're looking about three to four thousand photos and then once I edit them and call the ones that don't do uh, people justice whether it's children or adults you're looking at probably two and a half three thousand photos so which means I have to edit two and a half thousand photos I'm just going to pull into the petrol station that's coming up now. I dread to think what the price is at the moment for uh, diesel. Because I put premium diesel in there, I don't put the normal um, diesel. Because it's better for the engine and doesn't give off as much fumes either. So it cleans the engine as you drive. But they are so expensive, so expensive. So I'm dreading to think how much I'm gonna. Uh, how much, I'm dreading to think how much it's gonna cost me. Last time I came here, it was 199 for diesel, the premium one. 
it's 164 no sorry it's 176 i think for um, normal diesel so we'll find out right this is what uh, it's cost me 71 pound the petrol uh, the diesel's actually gone down now since last week and the one i've used is the v power which is amazing but yeah the diesel seems to have gone down because literally last week it was 199.9 or 0.7 and today as you saw is 191 point something so it's gone down quite a lot but the good thing about shell is i've got these loyalty apps so it gave me three pounds off diesel yeah it all adds up but um last week when i was filming in bristol it cost me 80 pounds to fill up the car today it cost me 70 pounds so makes a lot of difference makes a lot of difference gonna do is um, start filming some behind the scene footage and then I've said what I'll do is I'll photograph the matinee which is likely to be depending on how long the show is it's probably gonna be several thousand photos and then uh, again I'm gonna hang around afterwards and maybe do a bit more behind the scene for the evening performance I like making these behind the scene videos only because I can look back on them and uh, it's all memories so if we go into another lockdown or whatever then uh, I have something to look back on oh that's good the guy's reading a book <laughs> That guy was literally reading a book while driving. <laughs> I don't think he realizes that it's illegal. If you're not allowed to touch anything, you're not allowed to hold your phone, you're not allowed to do anything. And then the guy's literally got the book open on the steering wheel. He's reading and driving at the same time. That's crazy. This week's gonna be absolute. April is incredibly busy. I'm literally filming almost every day. As I was saying, uh, these behind the scene videos are quite useful for me as memory to remember what I've um, done in the past. Whether it's making showreels, whether it's photographing, whether it's filming shows. The only downside is most of the companies don't like behind the scene videos because they're quite um, secretive about how they operate so I don't even bother with uh, making behind the scene corporate stuff but schools they love it because it's publicity for them as well it's memories for them as well the hardest type of shows are photographed are dance shows where it's dark and then it's fast moving children and the children have dark clothing i mean it looks good on stage but there's only so much a camera and a lens can do that's the worst case scenario is when it's fast moving subjects in low light because if they're not moving much and it's low light, that's not a problem. You can manage it by adjusting the camera settings. But when they're fast moving, got no chance. You really need expensive lenses to 
suck in as much light as you as it can and you obviously need specialized cameras because your consumer cameras won't do it definitely photographing shows is a lot harder than uh, photographing events when I used to before pandemic came along I used to do a lot of event photography and uh, Nobody could understand how I'm able to photograph in almost pitch black because that's what most events are in. They're really low light condition. It's because the guests aren't moving. They're standing still. So it's really easy to photograph in low light when the subject's not moving. I'm used to subjects that move really fast erratically fast and uh, by erratic I mean you know changing direction it's not linear they're moving really fast they're unpredictable which way they're going and it's low light worst case scenario for any photographer so it's very hard photographing shows but I enjoy it, it keeps me sane. I like performances and shows. I love Porth Call, it's so beautiful. Their Grand Pavilion is literally right by the sea so in summer when it's really hot they used to open the balcony uh, doors to get some air in and then during interval i used to go outside the balcony and you see the whole of the seafront it's got that real british seaside town feel about it which it is i'm, I'm talking traditional feel about it they've kept that traditional essence reminds me so much of Brighton actually that's Grand Pavilion in front of us with the dome I have not been here in three years since the pandemic came and the lockdown came. I hope there's going to be parking. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Lots of parking. Good. Goody, goody, goody. Turning circle on this car is ridiculous. Whereas normal cars would just take, do this in one go, I have to make like five point turns, keep going back and forth until I can squeeze. Anyone who's got a defender will relate to this. The turning circles are just ridiculous. But I suppose it has to be like this because it's designed for off-road and then you won't get as much backlash from uh, hitting potholes and all that it, the steering won't just jump out of your hand I think that's what it is either that or it's less likely for the wheels to snap because you're not turning the wheels to the extreme.
I, my brother went crazy with the hairspray and then also I have to wear this. Show us, put it on. I, Whoa. I don't want to ruin my hair though. That's fine. Hi Lottie. Hi. You okay? Hi Zara. Hi. What do you think about the show? Fun. Yeah? Give us a twill, show us your hair. Whoa. Oh. My makeup. Rosie, what do you think of the show? <laughs> Casey, what are you? What are you playing? A dog. The dog! Show us your outfits. <laughs> Super cool. Amy, good! What are you doing? Are you okay? Yes! What do you think of the show? Good? It's really good. It's going really well. Guys, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Smash that subscribe button.